I would describe this home as having a very European feel. Kind of that Spanish mixed with that West Coast architecture, but also, you know, fresh, neutral, and just fun. The clients are young, so something that's going to be timeless, but has a lot of character. This house tour is brought to you by the new Hyundai Kona, the SUV for the city. We are located in South Burlington and we have renovated a beautiful older bungalow for our clients Kristen and Matt. When we came into this space, it was a very open concept. So the idea that we wanted to achieve was to have these different zones for them. There was a lot of mismatched furniture, things that didn't really achieve what they wanted for the home. But in the entryway, it was very plain and very open. So we wanted something that was a little bit more private compared to walking in and going right into the back of a sofa. We added two closets that had mirrors and then this cute little nook in the middle, something where they could sit, put shoes on, there was a little bit of storage. And then on the other side, having this little privacy wall, but it was more of a slat feel. So something a little bit different where you come in and it gives you a little peek of what's next, but it doesn't fully give the space away. And then a beautiful calming cloud wallpaper. That alone gives you that impact when you come in. We also added a nice round mirror with a little shelf there. And then just these really cool wall sconces to add a little bit of interest as well. So then once you get past the entryway, we focus on the kitchen. The kitchen was already, I would say, 80% completed by the clients. So we just wanted to update it. We wanted it to have the same vibe as the rest of the areas that we've designed. So we added some nice new bar stools, some decorative lighting, a little bit of open shelving, and then just decor. And then from there, the back wall, we felt it to be very plain. So we wanted to bump it out. We still wanted it to have definition for the living space and the dining. So once your eye gets to that dining area, there's this beautiful curved archway. So that adds character to the home, but also has a little bit of a nook where we could have a custom cabinet, open shelving, and then have that layering of this custom furniture and lighting. We had this dining table made. The idea of the base was to mimic the archways that we have throughout the home. So the archway in the dining room, we also added an archway in the hallway. The dining chairs also have unique curves to them. The head chairs have a beautiful velvet fabric that kind of curve around and anchor the dining table. And then the other chairs are just different and unique. They add a lot of texture, they add the wood element, and just kind of bring that space completely together. We really wanted this space to be cozy for this family. It's a young couple, they have a little girl. It obviously has to be durable, but have this really appealing look to it as well. This is your main living space. This is where you entertain. This is where you hang out with your family. This space was defined by the architecture that we did in the background with bumping out the wall and the fireplace, adding that coziness, and then the millwork cubbies on either side act as a space where the clients can put personal items, decor, and just have you know that feeling of that living and family space. The swivel chairs act as very functional pieces because you can be in the living space, turn to the kitchen and dining for entertaining. There's little hits of colors and different elements of boucles and different woven fabrics, but overall it's very neutral and very durable for the family. We have a real mix of area rugs. In the family living room, we wanted something to be very cozy and comfortable, so we went with more of a woven kind of shag feel. The entryway, we added a very eclectic old Persian rug. The other areas, the clients were a little bit hesitant because obviously with young children, you know, we wanted to put a rug in the dining room, so that in the kitchen are rugs that can be easily taken out and then washed as well. When we first saw the primary bedroom, the furniture just didn't really make sense for how the space was laid out. It had a tiny little closet before, so it was very dysfunctional for the two of them. So what we did is we removed this unused little window on the back wall, and we actually created custom millwork that went in front of it for closet storage. Then it was deciding where the bed was gonna go. The only other wall was the wall with a large window. So we decided to do custom drapery that spread across that whole wall to create a beautiful backdrop, not just for privacy, but for something for the bed to be anchored against. And then from there, it was just adding, once again, beautiful textures and boucles, 
a jute woven rug. So just having those layers of textures created this warm, inviting space for the two of them, but also complemented the color tones that we did throughout. When we first went into the main bathroom, it was a very long space. It had a door at the end, which connected you to another hallway into the kitchen. And then it had an existing toilet, a vanity, and a shower. So we knew right away that we wanted to close off the door so that we could have more wall space to work with. Where we closed in the door, there was space to create little cubbies just for extra overflow for storage. So that's where we can have bath salts, so we wanted to add a bathtub right across the back and then we made the shower a lot larger. So this was where we created a nice beautiful walk-in shower and then a beautiful custom vanity that had a lot of textual detail curves to it but still had a lot of functional elements to it once it opened. We recently wrapped up this renovation and Kristen and Matt were beyond thrilled. They have a beautiful older bungalow and they really wanted something that showed off who they were, was calming, inviting, functional, and just really suited it. The clients really appreciated the effort and the detail that went into this home.